Now, once you understand how to work with different tokens, let me just show you how to specify unique ID to every request of Morgan. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just simply say here, constant, and I'm going to just require the UUID module. So here I'm going to say version 4 of UUID v4, and then I'm going to just require it. So I'm going to say here require, in the double code, I'm going to specify UUID like this. So this will just import this version for UUID inside this application. Just after that, down here, I'm going to create a function. So here I'm going to say function assign ID. And inside this function, I'm going to specify request and response parameter and specify next function. Inside this function, I'm going to just simply say request.id. I'm going to create ID property of a request object. And then I'm going to specify UUID4 method. So this will just return the random ID to this ID property. Just after that, I'm going to call the next function like this. Just after that, back to the top. Up here, I'm going to create Morgan token. So up here, I'm going to say Morgan dot token. So whenever you want to create a new token, you need to specify here Morgan dot token. So this method allows you to create a token in Morgan module. Just for that, in the single code, as a first argument, I'm going to specify the name for this token. I'm going to specify name ID. And as a second argument, I'm going to specify the callback function. So here I'm going to say function, specify name to it, get ID, and specify request parameter. Just for that, inside this function, I'm going to just say return request.id. So this function is going to just work on this request parameter and access this UUID using this ID property. I'm going to return to this ID token. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just say here, app.use. And inside it, I'm going to say assign ID. I'm going to call this assign ID function inside this use method. So I can use this middleware inside this project. Just out of that, don't forget to specify this token inside this Morgan to see the result. So as a first argument, I'm going to simply specify colon ID. That's it. Save the changes, reload the browser, and here you can notice you have the unique ID to every request. When I reload the browser, we have the unique ID to the second request as well. So using this technique, you can specify the unique ID whenever you make any request. Now you're not limited to only specify here request and response parameter. You can specify your own parameters as well. Now just for that, let me show you how to create a simple token in Morgan. So here I'm going to say Morgan dot token as you know to create a new token or you can say to create a new token function. I'm going to just specify here Morgan dot token and as a first argument, I'm going to specify the token name. I'm going to specify name param. So this is the name of my token, then specify comma and create here a function. I'm not going to specify any name to this function. I'm going to specify here request, response and param. So this is my own parameter. Just out of that, I'm going to specify here curly braces and down here, I'm going to say return and instead of returning any complicated value, I'm going to just specify here user token. So this token is going to just return this user token string when you make a request. Let me just save the changes and use this token. So down here, inside this Morgan, just out of this ID, I'm going to specify here colon and then specify param. So I'm going to specify the name of this token inside this Morgan class. Let me just save the changes and reload the browser. When I reload the browser, you can notice I'm going to have the unique ID, then I have the user token text and the rest of the tokens. Morgan module is very useful and creating tokens with Morgan is very important because Whenever you want to store any user information, when the user make a request, you can use the Morgan token. Now getting the user information on the console is not a good idea. That's going to print all the log information of the user. So I'm going to just close this terminal and up here, here I'm going to first require the constant fs and here I'm going to say require. In the single code, I'm going to require the fs module. Just after that, I'm going to require the constant path module like this. And then down here, I'm going to append all the information of this Morgan inside a file. So here I'm going to create a variable let access log. I'm going to create a variable access log stream. If you want, you can specify any name to this variable. Just out of that, I'm going to specify equal to sign, then call fs dot create write stream. So this method is going to create writable stream inside this node application. So this method will append all the log information inside a file. 
just for that I'm going to specify parentheses and here I'm going to say path dot join and as a first argument I'm going to specify the directory name which is the property so this will just return the application path just for that as a second argument I'm going to specify the file name which I want to create so here I'm going to say access dot block and just for that as a second argument of this create write stream method I'm going to specify curly braces and specify flags and in the single code I'm going to specify a so this will just append all the information of this log message inside this file just out of that what I want I want to get all this log message inside this access.log file so just down here I'm going to say app.use and inside it I'm going to call a Morgan class and as a first argument I'm going to specify the tokens so here I'm going to copy these tokens and specify that here and as a second argument I'm going to specify in the curly braces stream specify colon and call the access log stream variable this one so this option will create this file and append all the information of this log message I'm going to just save the changes and reload the browser and back to the project you can notice I have here access.log file let me just open it when I open this file you can notice I have a data inside it this is the unique ID of the request this is the user token the type of method the status and the HTTP version let me just call only the parameter so instead of these tokens I'm going to specify colon param when I save the changes this will just print user token so it's going to print this message now let me just show you what is the use of this access.log file let me just back to my browser and here I'm going to search for a route called API forward slash accounts when I press enter I'm going to have a message cannot get API magic let me just close this access.log and instead of this param here I'm going to call my default tokens save the changes back to the browser and reload it and now when I open the access log you can notice I'm going to have here access token get but at this time the URL is going to be API magic but at this time I'm going to get the status 404 this means the user requested a file that is not exist in the application so using this information you can solve that error and understand what is the request of the user and using this technique you can get all the information of the user request if you want you can store all this information inside a database as well that's upon you so I hope you understand how to work with the Morgan module in Express application so I hope you understand how to work with Morgan and create a logger app in Express application next we're going to create a routing app